This question comes to us from Linda mm -hmm. and she asks, how do I deal with fear while trying to process through physical pain? <laughs> yes, well, even that is a fear-based question, I suppose. Um, this is the issue that most people have with physical pain. They do not allow themselves to feel the physical pain. They're trying to suppress it before they begin. And the problem for most of us is the reason why we have physical pain is because fear exists already. So, so the problem is we need to allow ourselves to be overwhelmed by both things, both the physical pain and the fear of the pain that we're feeling. Now, most people won't allow that particular process to occur because they feel that becoming overwhelmed with it, become very, they become even more frightened. And, and instead of allowing themselves to feel their fear and mm -hmm. shake and, and, and cry or whatever it is that is, go that is going to be needed to feel the fear of their pain, they try to suppress the fear of their pain, which actually will increase the sensation of the pain yes. rather than reduce it. And then, of course, they go and take another option, and that is generally to get some kind of medical form of suppression of the pain. Now, obviously here what we're doing is we're talking about pain that is not like extreme physical pain caused from some extreme accident or sickness or disease. <laughs> like your legs cut off or something Exactly. Like that, yeah. We're talking now about pain that, is, uh, that basically occurs every day of our life mm -hmm. and that seems to intensify under certain conditions and that we often are resistive to feeling. You will find if you allow yourself to feel and experience fear, you will allow the experience of pain. And also, in the experience of fear, pain will reduce, not increase. Yeah. So if the pain is increasing, it means that you're attempting to suppress your fear of it. And so my suggestion to people is allow the feeling of your fear of the pain that you're experiencing. Mm -hmm. So that's all I can suggest here without knowing the details of what pain it is and what kind of you know, things being suppressed. From my personal experience, you've helped me a lot with this issue of physical pain mm -hmm. and um, the fear of physical pain. Mm -hmm. And just through once a month, I go through quite a lot of physical pain. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it waxes and wanes, but generally when I have my period, I get a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. and. I used to be trying to sort of survive that pain, I suppose, and endure yes. it, and I would be quite rigid in my fear, really, of, of experiencing the pain. Well, I feel you used, to, you used to do a lot of things besides those two things. Oh, yeah, yeah. yes. So, so you tried to survive it. Mm -hmm. You tried to nurse it sometimes, where you, where you would do something physical to t attempt to alleviate the pain itself yeah. rather than focusing on what may be the cause of such pain. Yeah. And remember, the cause of all pain is the suppression of some emotion. So, so when we're trying to alleviate the pain without fixing the emotion, it's sort of almost counterproductive and counterintuitive. We'd be better off spending our time trying to find what the emotion is that we're trying to suppress that's causing our pain. Yeah. And I find most people are not even using their intellect in that direction when they're feeling pain, generally they're trying to either get away from it, so they take some kind of pain medication, mm. or what they try to do is suppress the pain using some comfort-based technique, you know, whether yeah. that be food or, you know, a hot water bottle or, yeah. you know, having a nice warm bath or a lovely long shower or some other method that they have to reduce the physical pain rather than allow themselves to feel what the cause may be they, they are already in suppression of the cause. And in fact, all pain is the result of suppression of the cause. Mm -hmm. So if we've got pain, we're, it's already telling us, if we reflect back to how the human soul functions, the pain is already telling us that we don't understand suppression mm -hmm. and that we don't understand resistance. And that there is some kind of preclusive emotion inside of our soul that's that's causing us, that we're in complete denial of, that we're suppressed and, and resisted completely, that has caused our body now to respond to the suppression of that particular emotion. Yep. And usually it is very much related to the location of the pain mm -hmm. in the body. 
So for in the case of a woman with her period, it's located in the sexual organs of, uh, you know... The of, reproductive of the organs. reproductive yeah. organs of the woman. So the, the, the pain is a suppression of emotion relating to sexuality or reproduction. Mm -hmm. It's got to be. Yeah. Otherwise, there would be no pain. Yeah. So, so there, there'd be pain somewhere else. There'd be pain maybe in the tummy or something like that. Yeah. If you're suppressing large amounts of fear, you will often have pain in the upper part of your abdomen, you know, around your gallbladder, you know, those kind of issues. If you're suppressing rage, you will often have kidney, liver-based issues that yeah. cause suppression of pain. If you're suppressing the emotion of uh, worth, low, low self-worth, you'll often have pain in your lower back. And, and your back will have problems. If you're suppressing pain in your shoulder, you're suppressing emotion relating to responsibility, you'll often have pain in your shoulders. If it's your left shoulder, it'll be towards women. If it's your right shoulder, towards men. Now, we could go on and on and on yep. about what body area where you're going to have pain if you suppress emotion. But if we understand the general principle, if I suppress emotion, it will result in pain. Mm -hmm. this, is a, this is a fact. Mm. Right, and we need to have faith in that fact. Yeah. So, if I am experiencing pain, it means I am suppressing something. I am already suppressing it, and I need to acknowledge that. Now, when if we could we could pray about that if we involved God in that process, or we could try to use our intellect to find out what it might be that we're feeling, you know, a certain feeling about, and and try to attempt to feel that emotion. We could do either, but at some point we're going to have to do that. Yeah. if we're ever going to be relieved of our pain. Yeah, yeah. And I, <coughs> sorry, huh? you, yep. Um, I suppose what you have helped me with, and I, knowing Linda actually, and knowing her question and where it comes from, she, she acknowledges that she's in suppression of something and this is the cause of her pain. Yes. And she, but she's feeling like, yep, but I just don't hack it. I want to go and take a Panadol. Yes. Um, so she doesn't want to sit in the pain. Yes. So she doesn't want to sit in the results of the suppression or the suppression itself. Yes. And this is what most people do. We, what most people do with suppression of emotion is they suppress the emotion, which then causes pain, and they don't want to feel the result of their suppression of the emotion, which is the pain, and so they go and find something to suppress the pain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this is, uh, this is how slimy we are as individuals, actually, you know, from God's perspective. We're, we're always trying to slip out of the, <laughs> the real reason of why something is happening. And pain is always the result of a suppression of something. And we need to acknowledge that it's our desire to suppress. The pain is the direct result of our desire to suppress. Mm -hmm. No other reason. If we didn't desire to suppress, then we wouldn't have the pain. Now, when you go and take a Panadol or some other form of med pain medication, that's the label of the pain medication here in Australia, what will happen is that you're just showing that you desire to suppress more. <laughs> and what we need to do is use our intellect and our will to attempt to find out why we have such strong desire to suppress pain, that's, uh, pain and strong desire to suppress the reason why the pain occurred, which is our emotion about that particular area of our body. Mm -hmm. There's something going on inside that particular area of our body that we have had now a long-term suppressive re relationship with that we're in total resistance of. And because it's been such a long-term problem, it's now exhibiting the problem as pain in our physical form. Mm. And we need to understand that. Yeah. So... To relate um, to my example and how you've helped me, before we met, I would take painkillers once a month. Yes. And while I didn't like that and I thought it was very bad for my liver, that was the only way I could literally get out of bed and function and even then that was like pushing it. Yes. And then when we met and I felt that I, you know, intellectually I wanted to explore divine truth. <laughs> yes. I stopped taking painkillers. I stopped taking any medication, yep. um, for the large part anyway, yep. and um, decided I needed to feel, mm -hmm. decided intellectually that I needed to feel. But what happened was I would still go and get a hot water bottle yep. and you could feel from me, and you might have to help me with this because I, I've shifted something here and I find it hard to articulate, yep. but... Um, you would feel from me this feeling of, and I can feel the feeling I had of trying to survive the pain, literally like this, it felt like Almost internally. A, it, yeah, what it, the feeling that, that it feels like from a per, third party feeling it is a, a feeling of the person trying 
to they're terrified of the pain mm. and they're trying to survive it through some comforting means mm -hmm. rather than just just uh, allowing the pain to overwhelm them and therefore flow through them yes and it's the suppression of the flow of the pain that actually causes more pain so it actually increases the amount of pain the person experiences and this is my experience exactly yes. what you described so you, we had a discussion, just simply one discussion about this once. And I realised I was trying to do this and I decided to experiment with just Breathing. sort of surrendering to the pain. Yes. Just a, instead of trying to, or it felt like emotionally go like this towards the pain. So rejection of the pain. That I would go into the pain and I hate using these airy fairy ways of, or so it was esoteric a, it, ways of. It was a, a uh, desire to feel it instead. Yes. So you allowed yourself to actually soften to the feeling of it. Exactly. Yes. And in doing that, my pain reduced. And, and sometimes it, disappeared. Sometimes totally disappeared or yeah. would be there, what I would usually experience for 36 hours would be there for one hour. Yes. And so that can... However. That's, can that's, say, that's, that's can where however. I'm going, yes. The however is the actual pain still appears every month. Yes. Which is an indication that there is still the suppression of the emotional cause. So while now you are accepting the pain and you are allowing the feeling and experience of such pain, there is still the disallowance of the feelings associated with its emotional cause. Now in your case, you know that the emotional cause is associated with many events in the first century relating to sexuality and also relating to um, childbirth, childbirth and also Being the torture of your death. And my death and, and so many things. There's many emotions involved that you are going to need to allow yourself at some point to, um, to actually experience and at the moment, you are still resistive to experiencing those emotions, and so the pain still occurs or reoccurs every yes. month. However, now that you know that if you resist the pain, it makes it worse, you are now not resisting the pain, and so you find it goes away within an hour or a few hours, instead of there being days and days and days of, of large discomfort where you're almost bedridden or are bedridden, um, you now have only an hour or a few hours where you feel that way, and, and you know that you've got to focus back on the yeah, pain I and feeling the pain again. I, I spend that time, you know, I, and have intellectual acknowledgement of the causes. Yes. But allowing that pain. And um, I'm very aware that obviously I'm still suppressing the causes, otherwise the pain wouldn't exist. Correct. Um, but this process of even just allowing the surrender to pain or, or whatever I'm calling it. Yeah. Um, has reduced my fear of all physical pain. Yes. And I suppose that Linda's question was, how do I deal with fear while trying to process physical pain? Yes. Um, so can you see that what's happened is that you've reduced your fear of physical pain, but your fear of emotional pain still remains. It's still quite high. And while our fear of emotional pain is present, it will prevent us from actually going through the process of not creating pain. Yes. So in other words, we will always create pain while we fear the emotional pain. We'll create physical pain when we fear the emotional pain. So the secret now is to go through this process of working through your fear of emotional pain, which you mm -hmm. know you've been doing for many months now. And it's the fear of emotional pain which is the main cause of the physical pain. Yeah. And, and we need to understand these relationships if we're ever going to stop them from occurring. Now, once we understand that it's our fear of emotional pain that's actually creating our physical pain, it tends to suggest that our emotional pain uh, is far greater in our mind mm -hmm. and far more uh, terrifying in our soul to feel than the physical pain is even, because we're prepared to feel the physical pain rather than feel the emotional pain. Yeah. And I find this is an interesting aspect about many of us, is that because we have shut down our souls so much and we've shut down the expression of, of, our, of the emotional pain so much, of course our bodies are going to revert to displaying to us the pain that we feel emotionally as a physical symptom. Mm. And 
And this is an actually loving thing God has done. God's basically saying, look, there's the one level of or layer of resistance that you've placed in, and that is your emotional resistance to feeling emotional pain. And when you do that, you start getting physical pain. So this is now telling you there's the second layer. Now you have another layer of choice. Are you going to also, <laughs> are you also going to, it's like completely suppress the physical pain or are you going to acknowledge to yourself, ah, this is, the, you know, this is all caused because I have decided to suppress my emotional pain. Mm. And, and once we become more self-responsible, we start going, well, I actually, I don't want to keep going to this physical pain all the time on a regular basis. What I need to do instead is feel the emotional pain that creates it. Once you choose to do that, the physical symptoms will, if you find the, phys the emotional pain that caused that problem, the physical symptoms will completely disappear yeah. and the, the body itself will repair any damage that was done to that part of the body after the physical symptoms have disappeared. So you're saying really that it's a question again of our will? Yes. And a softening to and a desire to find our emotional pain that is the cause correct but also using my example there is a process of even softening to physical pain that many of us are resisting yes and also seeing the relationship between the physical pain and, and the, the emotional, emotional pain. pain exactly yeah. most people don't do that most people are completely disconnected from the relationship yeah. between the physical and emotional pain the physical pain is the effect of the suppression of the emotional pain and we need to understand this relationship. This is one relationship that the majority of people on this planet do not understand. And so it's natural that many of us have grown up with a complete disconnection to this relationship. Mm. But we need to have some faith that this is the relationship that we uh, have to become aware of. And in fact, God has created this way in love of us. So that, so that we, God, God's saying to us, look, you suppress this emotional pain you have and this physical pain is the consequence of the suppression of the emotional pain. And now you've got two types of pain. Yeah. And what I'm basically showing you is that if you suppress emotional pain, you not only have emotional pain, but you now also have the additional physical pain as a result. Mm. And he's trying to show you that suppression is not the way to go, <laughs> right? So we talked in how the human soul functions about suppression yeah. and a person needs to learn about suppression. But that one of the things they need to learn about suppression is that it is not the solution to any problem. Yeah. And this is something that God is trying to teach everybody on this planet. Suppression of a problem and suppression of the effect of a problem is not the solution to the problem. The only way to solve a problem is get to its cause. And the cause of physical pain isn't some kind of malfunction in your body. It's caused by, although, you know, that could be there is a malfunction in your body to yes. cause physical pain. But that's an effect. But that's of, the effect yeah. of a cause which resides within your soul that's emotional. Mm. And there is something going on emotional that has caused you, that, that you now have suppressed, intentionally suppressed, that creates the physical pain. And if the physical pain becomes chronic and it becomes like part of your life, it is because you are willing to make the emotional suppression a part of your life. Yeah of that particular emotion that causes the physical pain. Now, in this discussion, it's, it's impossible to say what emotional suppression causes what disease, because there's literally thousands of diseases on this planet, all of which, and pains and aches and all sorts of problems, which are caused by different suppression of different emotions, and that is identical in each person. So, for example, if you, through the suppression of an emotion, which is related to wanting to get approval from mothers, and you feel a lot of anger with your mother, but you want to suppress that, and you want to, through addiction, get lovely feelings from women, you will probably get cancer in your right breast at some point in your life. Mm. Right? Now, there is a direct relationship of every person who has cancer in the right breast to that emotion. Your right breast or your left breast? Uh, sorry, left breast. Yeah. Left breast, because it's your mother. Yeah. But yeah, left breast is a direct relationship between everybody who has cancer to that emotion. Mm. Every, every single woman who gets cancer in her left breast has that emotion. 
guaranteed. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is the beauty of the way God's done things. It's not based on your personality as to why you get a certain disease. Mm. <laughs> it's not based on some kind of individuality that you get a certain disease. It's the direct result of the suppression of specific emotions yeah. that cause specific diseases and specific accidents even are caused by the same kind of suppressions. Once we understand this relationship, we start not looking at, well, oh, what's this and what's that? We start acknowledging that we are in suppression which is essential. So we first need to acknowledge that we are suppressing our emotion. That's the reason why we've got this physical pain. This is why we've got the physical disease. This is why we've got the physical problem. And running to a some kind of medical solution to that, while it may relieve the symptoms, it does not relieve the cause, and so therefore the symptoms are going to continue to be created. Mm -hmm. What we need to do instead is go back to the fact that we are suppressing an emotion and the pain in the, the location of the body is directly related to the suppression of the emotion that causes a physical problem of the flow of energy in that part of the body. And we need to understand that. And once we start understanding that, we give up the concept that suppression is the answer. Yeah. We start going, okay, I'm just causing my own pain. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm causing my own diseases. Yeah. I, I'm now starting to take responsibility for the fact that is that is my choice to suppress. And remember, in the how the human soul functions, we say we said that the choice to suppress was pushed upon us, usually by our environment. So mm -hmm. we're not condemning the person for a choice to suppress, but we're saying you're willing to choose to maintain the suppression, and that's what's causing this damage to your body. Yeah. Stop that and the damage to your body will cease. That's reality. Mm. And so that's the secret to dealing with all the pain yep. and with regard to fear. Well, fear is a separate emotion altogether. Fear is an emotion that is not even real in many cases. Oftentimes we fear things that are not real. They have been real in our past, mm -hmm. but they are not real right now. So, so for example... A, a woman who's been raped, for example, who then starts having problems with her reproductive organs in terms of pains uh, at different times, she don't necessarily be raped again, but she is probably afraid of that thing. Yeah. And she is also afraid of feeling all of the feelings associated with her rape. Mm -hmm. And that is what is causing her to now have pain. So my suggestion to her would be, allow yourself to go through the feelings of rape. I know it's very, very difficult. I have been raped, you have been raped. We both know that it's very, very difficult to go through those emotions, but you need to allow yourself to go through those emotions if you're ever going to be, you know... Free of free pain of or pain. free of emotional pain. Anyway. Yeah, free of yeah. emotional pain. So, so this is a very, very essential thing to do and allow yourself to do. And, and what we'd recommend then is to start seeing fear as just a feeling. Mm. It is not the end of your life. It is not the end of your existence. It's not the end of all things. Yep. It is just an emotion that you need to allow yourself to fully feel. Yep. And when you do that, without judgment, you will feel it. And then, of course, the fear of feeling emotions will dissipate. Mm. And then, of course, you will start feeling the different emotions. Yeah. Yep. So when we're having difficulties enduring or coping with physical pain, there's a number of things that we need to work through. One is our resistance to just allowing ourselves to experience the pain. Correct, because we, because we shouldn't be enduring it, we should just be allowing it. Allowing it, it. Yes. yes. But it is that state of like feeling we can't bear it or can't cope with it that causes us to seek out some other solution, solution isn't it? Yes. So that's the first issue. Yep. And then there's So now we're working back, by the way, yes, aren't we? Yes, we're going so back. So we're going backwards from our physical pain. Yes. Our physical pain is the long-term effect of long-term <laughs> suppression of long-term fear of emotion. Exactly. Right. So if I'm here today mm -hmm. in a lot of physical pain, yep. the first step is to... Allow the feeling of the physical allow pain. Allow the feeling of the physical pain and not try to run from it. Correct. And that not so magically, actually makes the pain reduce. It does. Um, but it will return. Of course. Because unless we are ready to feel the next step. 
the next step. Which is allow yourself to feel that you want to suppress an emotion. Yeah. The feeling, the desire to suppress. And so it's the feeling, the desire of wanting to suppress that is actually even the next step we can take while we're still in the physical pain. Correct. We know intellectually, well, this is here because I have a long-term suppression of an emotional pain from yes. what you just said. Yep. And so um, now that I'm in the physical pain, I know intellectually where that's the cause, I might not know even the specific emotion I'm suppressing, but I know it comes from that. Yeah. So obviously I'm going to need to work through my resistance to feeling uh, and my desire to suppress and yes. begin and to feel that emotion. And that's all about your beliefs about suppression. You think that suppression is going to work when it doesn't yeah. work. Yeah. You think that suppression is the way to use your soul. It's not the way to use your soul. The human soul doesn't function with suppression very well at all. And so you need to understand a lot of the truths about suppression. And that's really where this preclusion concept that we also talked about comes in, isn't it? While we have the belief inside of us that suppression works... Then we're going to be precluded from taking any action <laughs> against suppression. Yeah. yeah. So we have to emotionally connect to that. Correct. Progress through emotionally. And many of us need to connect to the emotion that of... I want suppression to work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, like there's there's this feeling of anger in us, many of us. I want suppression. I want to be able to suppress. Why doesn't it work? Why doesn't <laughs> it work? I want it to work, you know. And we need to feel that anger that we have mm -hmm. about the fact that, no, we weren't created this way. We weren't created for suppression to actually work. We were created for it to not work, in mm. fact. And once we get through that anger and resistance to suppression, we then realise that suppression is a useless tool that we're attempting to use that has no positive effect whatsoever aside from causing more pain. Yeah. And, and once we come to acknowledge that emotionally, and we will probably cry a fair bit to acknowledge that emotionally, then it's highly likely we'll be willing to get to what is the actual individual emotion that causes pain in that location of my body. Mm. And that might be anything, it depends, it depends on where the pain is in your body. You know, from your head to your toe, there's different pains that could co be caused by different uh, uh, suppression of different emotions. So that could be almost anything we could discuss there. But the key is to go through that process of firstly, no longer trying to deny the pain and accepting it and feeling the, feeling the pain itself, then going into this next state where we realise it's all about suppression, going through our resistance to, not, to, to, to wanting to continue... Yep. We, we want to continue suppressing, so we're resistant to not suppressing anymore. We need to go through that emotion. And then we realise the truths about suppression and how suppression is actually a damaging thing to us, damaging thing to our soul. That's a wonderful state to get into once mm -hmm. you realise that. And then once you get beyond that, you'll start looking at the resistance you have to that specific emotion, emotion. that causes that specific pain. Yeah. Great. And you can't skip over any of those mm. states, generally. <laughs> no. if, if you've created the pain, then you're going to have to uncreate it through this process. Yeah, and yeah. That, I've, that's a great point that you make because I know a lot of people think, I just got to get to the causal emotion and then, it, then all this pain will disappear and I'm going to do it in the next 10 minutes while I'm in the pain. <laughs> and Highly really, unlikely. It's really unlikely that you're going to be able to do that because you've yeah. suppressed so long that you've the created pain. pain. Yeah, so it's a chronic problem. Yeah. If it, if, it got, if it gets to the state where you're feeling pain as a result of it, it's a very bad problem, mm -hmm. you know. And I still have some very bad problems in my own body, particularly in my, you know, lower back bowel region because of uh, worth issues. And, and it's been a chronic problem all my life. I had a pro you know, it was a problem when I was two years of age. Yeah. And, and this is usually the result, uh, you know, it's a, a lo long-term pains that you're trying to undo and it does take time to get to them. Many of them are, uh, are emotions that we have heavy resistance with, that we don't want to feel because they feel like they're just too hard to feel. Mm. And we need to even work through that emotion. And this is the beauty of having a relationship with God. We can eventually grow our faith that actually any emotion can be experienced as long as we have God with us going, you know, helping us through the experience. And once we start getting to that state, we are much more readily open to experiencing and being overwhelmed by our emotion in any direction. Yeah. 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 So that's okay. basically the process we need to go through to address the pain and the fear of our pain. <laughs> Fantastic. So hopefully that's helped, Linda. <laughs>